Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. I think everything's running now, hopefully. Well, you better but... go catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Set yourself anyway. up for that one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, another week with the video podcast set up. It's we're trying. We fucking hate you. No, <laughs> mm-hmm. we're still waiting on stuff. The chairs are coming in. I'm waiting on like the cameras, the mic stands, because we're going to have different mic setups. I was on deployment too, so that kind of complicated things too. Yeah, he gone. About that. He gone. <laughs> But so this week, um, Shane wanted to talk about what I we. I forget what he wanted to talk about. What we just have, or what happened right before the podcast. Me Every time he brings this up, I honestly have no idea. The tipping. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, rest in peace, Juice World. Yeah. Although I didn't listen to any of his yeah, music, yeah. but sure, whatever. Do you know who that is, Christian? Rip OJ. Just out of curiosity, I know he's a rapper who died in an airport. That's yeah, he it. did. He was a uh, froth and blood at the mouth. Yeah, it's because he was probably on some kind of drugs, like most of these rappers who passed away, unfortunately. <laughs> that could have almost taken a dark turn there. What? Nah. Nothing. Oh, okay. I'll <laughs> let it... Well, let it not... you get, no, you got like the last... Uh, who was it? He passed away. It's all unfortunate, right? But like... That one guy died from being shot. X? Oh, yeah, X. Yeah. But he he was also a druggie. Man, just like, don't be in gangs. Well, it's just like rap... Gang shit. <laughs> <laughs> not being in the gang <laughs> is gang shit. That's true, yeah. But... For all right. you kids out there thinking of joining the gang, <laughs> the gang, the real, the real gang shit is not being in a gang. Yeah, because you the, don't need that. Cause, Stay cause in school. Then you're in the non-gang gang. Yeah, gang, yeah. gang. <laughs> Anyways, what uh, Shane said he wanted to mention was that, well, or like Drew's take on tipping. Well, it started out with me accidentally tipping the waitress twenty dollars. <laughs> On, on like on, yeah, a, yeah. on an eighteen dollar bill. Was she cute? Then that was no, accident. no, because Shane no. asked Drew as a girlfriend. Just because Shane Forget. asked Drew a simple question, and Drew just could not do two things at once. Uh-oh. Yeah, he fucked up. I like I accidentally tipped her twenty four, <laughs> and I'm like, nah, that's not right, because I thought I was tipping her like five bucks, and I'm like, nah, I can't do that. <laughs> so so I like tried to change it, and when I tried to change it, I accidentally tipped her twenty bucks, and I'm like, fuck. Oh well. <laughs> And your bill I was what good, 22? So this, yeah. this dude's bill was twenty four bucks, and he's like, "Oh, I can't tip her five. I'm going to tip her like two something." Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, bit ball. of a scumbag. Like, so, so anywho, I I'm like, yeah, whatever. Have a good night. And she's like, oh, weird. And then she like looks. She's like, oh, like oh, do you want some of this back? And I'm like, like what are you going to say? That's yeah. epic. <laughs> I said, I said like, yeah, if you don't mind. And then I was like, she's like, how much do you want back? I'm like, oh, just give me 10 back. You were great tonight. Like, oh, I'm not going to go go from tipping her like 20 bucks to like, hey, I actually went to give you like two bucks. Can I get 20 back? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I get my entire tip back? Please? And she was. She was she was a good waitress, but I was just like, fuck. I just love what Shane said that it was karma that you were trying to tip only two bucks, which would have been like 10% of your tip. And you ended up tipping I was trying like to, I was 50. trying to tip her 242. You're literally a So scumbag. that my bill would come out to $22 even. That was over 10%. What more do you want? But Your bill I, was like twenty four bucks, wasn't it? No, ten percent would have been a dollar eighty. It was eighteen bucks. My rule of thumb is just like lowest I'll leave is a five. And then this, if I'm spending more than that, I obviously haven't eaten out at a nice place in a while. Yeah, but like, yeah. say, say well, I, this is a burger joint. It's yeah, not, say, we're, I, no, like we're paying twenty say bucks. Say I'm for at a burger. the bur- at burger joint, like max I would leave is like a five, but minimum I would leave is a five too. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, no, I guess, that's what I. Yeah. T- that's what I tipped. I tipped Wait, five bucks. So if you're so you just leave. Oh my god! But, but, if, but if I go to a nicer place, like a place that like. I guess the ser- and the server has been gone out of their way to like check up on you and stuff. I'll usually go around like fifteen twenty percent. So wait, wait. So if you if your bill was like eighteen bucks, you would leave five dollars as a tip. Yeah, it's just a five. I agree. Like so that's their job. The like, that's dude, ludicrous. That's like a thirty five percent. They get paid if, minimum wage, and this the is the like service their... is good, which it was tonight. Five bucks. Yeah, yeah, but them being paid minimum wage it doesn't put the onus on the consumer I know, but like, to then pay I their also, wage. I just approach it as but like I got paid minimum wage, and I was miserable every day and yeah. treat everyone like shit. So like I it's appreciate like, it. It's like I've I've had like good friends who are waitresses and like stuff like that. Like you know, and they you kind of hear stories about them and like. They deal with a lot of shit, you know. What do you mean, man? St- like stories of how they make way more than minimum. No, wage? some of them like don't get tipped at all. Like I have a friend who like served a twenty-five person table at like a golf club place, and then get, made twenty dollars off the whole table. But like, so like, like that's just like you know what I mean. You're like, still making minimum wage though. You're still yeah, getting your money. What if her service wasn't isn't good? It, and they didn't tip her because not minimum wage. I good. thought it was like there was a actually server yeah, minimum it's less wage. than minimum wage. I think. Okay, so before you get into that, server minimum wage is only if. Your total like money you earned in the two weeks 
if you earned less than what minimum wage would have got, even with like your server minimum wage plus tips, then they have to pay you the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like it's impossible for them to earn less than minimum wage. Well, like they're still like if someone's like if they are classified as someone who makes less than minimum wage, they make less less than minimum wage. That's just how it. That's just a fact. That no. What no. That, that like that's, got, that's, what a, they, okay, that's what they use as a bargaining wage. chip. Listen, okay. That's com- it's coming back to me now. As a you're, server you're confused. Minimum, no, you're confused. You're lost. <laughs> so <laughs> server minimum wage is like three or four bucks an hour, right? I didn't know that. So it's a lot less, but you get tips. Yeah. So if, say, in a two-week span, you worked 50 hours, right? And then if you combine your server minimum wage plus your tips, if that in total is less than you would have made in those 50 hours working minimum wage... Your, the company you work for has to pay you the difference. So okay. That okay. no matter what, yeah. you always earn minimum wage. Yeah. They just use that as a bargaining chip. Yeah. They're like, I don't earn minimum wage. It's like, yeah, what okay. do you do? Well, but they so don't. That, okay, the, taking that into account, circling back, I don't know. I just feel like you just might as well tip them $5. No, again, I, I completely agree. Man, if, like, someone, mm-hmm. if someone gives me service worthy of tipping $5, it's, sure, it's easy. But still, it's like but they're like, a server. If someone's cold, doesn't come refill my water... Messes up my order, all the shit. Why? Why would I give but them five bucks? This lady was the opposite of that. No, but and Rob's you're saying I've never had bucks. service that bad either. Anywhere, it, been. it would have been like twenty percent of my bill. Like just saying, I've never gone out to eat and thought to myself, "Wow, I'm gonna go out of my, way, I'll go out of my way to not tip my waitress." Oh, buddy, we're not I saying have not tip, Drew. but five oh, bucks. Oh, buddy, Drew has. <laughs> oh, buddy, you think I'm gonna fucking tip you? Going to pay all you can eat, all you can eat sushi, <laughs> charging me thirty five goddamn dollars for dinner. Coming to see me with five different fucking people. I don't even know who I'm tipping. <laughs> Why would I tip you? It was I Korean barbecue well, like, too, so he had to tip yeah. make his own. Well, yeah. like this, like a sushi place you, where you order off a tablet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone just sets a table for you. Leave them. No, this one you had to order with pen and paper, not even a tablet. They have the oh. fucking audacity. How much would you like to tip? Like if a zero. server comes. Like, okay, so that's yeah. like. Zero. There's a distinction there. Though. Maybe it's my own like, fucking dinner. If there's, you're, like, there's, a, there's a waitress. And then someone who just like seats you and it comes and gets your bill at the end. You know what I mean? A waitress. Like, I thought Rob was gonna be like, if I had a waiter, uh-uh, no tip. <laughs> <laughs> but a waitress, <laughs> five bucks. I'll send a waitress as much as I want. A waiter, get out of here. No, but like, you know what I mean? Like a waitress that comes and like checks up on you, brings you, refills your drinks, asks how you're doing, makes light conversation, makes mm-hmm. you feel comfortable and at home. In mm-hmm. theory. It, in bucks. theory that is what they are supposed automatic to there is a five dollars and i just climb is based on how much i enjoyed my food my bill and etc so what if your bill is well, like 10 bucks you're gonna tip 100 percent of your bill yeah it's five dollars like this is why rob has no money it's like it's like yeah like a, any server i think is like as long as they don't fuck up really bad they they are enti- like not entitled but i feel obligated to give them at least five dollar tip so here's my argument towards you okay you're tipping someone to literally just bring food to your table yeah but you're not tipping the chef who makes all your food you're not tipping he's got the easy job the people who clean the the table they don't have to deal with the chef probably makes more than the waiter does you're also the reason that they they don't don't make minimum wage just as a base salary good yeah because Because i tip good enough (laughs) That's yeah, actually I provide for their family. Yeah, I tip a, great. Yeah. I'm glad. Shane just wants to be the godfather. Like, All that I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> but to throw in what Drew said, or Shane said, yeah, the line cooks usually make minimum wage. Okay. If even that. Yeah, but that's because they're. Nah, I was going to be mean. Never mind. So, <laughs> they're know. doing everything. They're, they're literally doing everything for you, restaurant. but they get nothing. They just, they just do dishes. No, they don't. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> they just microwave do is, it and do dishes. All I do yeah. is fill up a dishwasher twice a day and just call it. I all the girl see, does is just bring the food over to your table and talks I to you see, and um, makes you feel homely. I want to see Drew at like a like a all inclusive resort and just see how oh, and just not there. not tip a not single man. anyone. You give them like two pesos and they're your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> You're <That's> awful. Just, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> not really though. No, <laughs> see, that was a joke. <laughs> See, I'm with Drew. I fucking hate tipping. I think tipping is the stupidest thing in the world. I don't mind tipping if you're like good at your if job at your and job. you deserve the agree. tip. Like, it, like t- I, had, I had no problem accidentally tipping her twenty bucks and taking it back down to ten. Yeah, no, yeah, I think I think job. she was good at like. Sure, it wasn't the much as that like, but she was a good waitress. She was worth a five dollar tip. Yeah, mm-hmm. was 10. she worth a twelve dollar tip? <laughs> Just the tip. 
again, Drew was 50 percent tip. <laughs> Circling back, it was just karma. Drew was going to tip her like two bucks, <laughs> which would have been so fine. Karma, which would have like, been 20 percent of my bill. The well, minimum like, is 15. It would have been like 13. Which also, yeah. By the way, they're fucking. <laughs> they're increasing how much you're supposed to tip now. At most places, at least the ones that I've gone to, when you go to like the tip options, the default for percentage is 20 to 30 percent. It's like 20, 25, 30. Who is deciding yeah. these, man? Like this the, omnipotent... The waitresses, because they're like, big oh. Big Pharma. The omni- yeah, fuck Big yeah. Pharma. Shane, Shane blamed Big Pharma for like... <laughs> I don't even remember what he blamed it for. I was just so like, what? Big what did pharma. he blame it? What did you Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's all conspiracy. They big did Pharma made money. Valentine's Day. <laughs> like, just oh, yeah. Just spend money on fucking... I guess Big Pharma would govern like condoms and lube and shit, right? That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, there you By go. Hagra. Yeah, there you go. Big farmers in control of Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's jokes. Okay, I have a, a question though. Have you okay. ever eaten like a meal, like a meal, and not tipped your waitress, waiter? Drew, you want to answer first? Uh, all you can eat. That's the only time you tip though. I gave her a cent. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, to prove a point. It was that you Korean left. barbecue. <laughs> Man, I paid thirty-five dollars. So you left a penny on the fucking for, table no, for zero service. Or did you I put had a to cent on the fucking machine you put a that on the pops machine. up on the receipt? <laughs> They this probably, guy's probably like what a fucking dick they probably spent more money on the electricity to print yeah. that extra line <laughs> more on the paper Listen, the man, ink. vote with your wallet yikes See, I don't, well where do you guys draw the line for tipping what do you like mean? maximum okay so whenever I go to pick up pizza at Domino's you don't tip a pizza guy uh, why why they have the option there they want you to fucking tip them, I even though them, you're paying for the pizza. You did all the work to go get the pizza. I give. I give well, like, if you I make pick, me the pizza, that's I pay true. For the if pizza, I pick, why would I tip you? Like I'll, I'll tip the delivery. Yeah. Guy. Okay. Yeah, I tip wait. The delivery dude. Okay. So if you went to Korean barbecue, okay. would you tip? Yes. Yeah. Five dollars. Okay. Because he's filling up my water. Yeah. Who so are you tipping? You're, you're tipping. You're tipping, you're tipping some person to bring the thing to you, right? And then Wrong. you do all the work. Yeah. So why is that any different than going to a pizza place and tipping them for giving you the food? It's well, harder like, to make the other food. I don't know. Like it's just like a type of cuisine thing. Like a pizza, you walk in and you're gone in like ten seconds. Mm. You're sitting down and eating at it's a our culture, Korean man. Barbecue. The Korean barbecue, they're trying to give you salmonella. No, for the Korean barbecue, they're making you do all the work and then you give them money. And they're making you give yourself salmonella. They won't even give it to you. But like you know what I mean? So though? it's a difference but, of like in dine in versus dine out. But that's also my argument of you're doing more work and you're paying them versus yeah, like, doing yeah, less work and not paying. This them. is like breaking down, going out to eat, like to the maximum you can be. Like, that's why we're here. That's, today. that's why I hate <laughs> tipping. This tipping is so fucking stupid. I, I like, hate it. I like like uh, that Japanese restaurant we go to. It yeah. has um. They just if you have this X amount of people, you tip this much, and they just include it on the bill. Yeah. Okay, that makes perfect. Sense. Like, would you rather them include a tip somewhere, or would yeah. you rather just? I would you? rather them just not have tipping at all and increase the prices of the food. The whole reason why tipping is a thing is because they want to advertise lower prices of food. Well, like the whole. Nah, th- I can't complain about that. Yeah, the whole thing about the restaurant industry is that it's a lucrative to make profit because you buy food wholesale, and then you just make it and sell it at a higher markup. So why not add tipping as like something to balance it out? You know, it's not no, but. <laughs> The whole thing it, before the food used to be more expensive. Like if you went to a place instead of the burger being ten bucks at the restaurant we went to or whatever, it would be twelve dollars. But then that two dollars would go to the waitress. But now they're just like, oh, if we advertise it as cheaper, pe- more people will come, and then they have to pay the waitress's fee because the company doesn't want to. That's fair. Yeah, it's like it's a fair way of what? looking at it. I just don't think anyone does. The company look at it that should just way. pay their workers. Again, Big Pharma does what they want. <laughs> <laughs> big Pharma has their hands in ground beef now. Yeah. It's all about big farms. It's whatever they want. <laughs> no, I fucking I hate. If I gotta tipping. pay their staff for them. I'll do it. I want that you burger. Would, uh, isn't like uh, I'm trying to think. Like the like cultures overseas, don't they value tipping? Like, Europe a lot doesn't different? tip. I'm no, pretty sure. North America is the only place in the world that has tipping to this level. Ooh. You think, or do you know in Europe? It is very rare that you tip someone. You only tip them if they're like the best waiter in the world and you give them like yeah, an extra buck or two. If I feel that you're putting out your own opinion as fact No, it's right fact. I, that's not a fact. I went to Dominican. That's not I Europe. <laughs> that's, North, said, that's North America. 
And South America, technically. Oh, okay, there we it's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bend the rules a lost little here. The, yeah. Lost the he hedged his, up to North lost America. He hedged his Sick. bets by saying tipping to this extent. Yeah, and that also. <laughs> but okay, so in, in he bubble wrapped his. Don't think yeah. we didn't see that, Christian. <laughs> in in Europe, it's you're, it's not common to tip. I know for a fact that in Asia, it's also very rare to tip because in Japan, one yeah. of the things when we were there, people looked it up beforehand. If you leave a tip at the table, generally the person oh, will come with the money. They yeah. run after they'll run you. after you. I was just like a... yeah, in Asia, it's rude because they're like, "What? You don't think I make enough money?" Yeah, they see it as an offensive thing. Here, they're like, "Please, yeah, beg, please, yeah." They're pretty much begging at some restaurants. No, but they're. It's just like they actually pay their staff. They see it as like you don't need to pay them extra than what they earn. Here, it's just like give me all your fucking money. The, f- the first guy we saw at Dominican, he like he's the guy who put all our bags in the bus. Then we went to the resort and we got off. And he like he looked at it. He looked at me. He's like, "Tip, <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck out of here, buddy." A lot of chance. I didn't even ask you to do this. That's the that's okay. If someone does something without me exactly. asking or me expecting to, I could have done. Nah, this. it's like you just if you're doing it. You know what I mean? If you're only doing it because you think I'm gonna tip you, we that's toss- what waitresses do. We no, but a waitress out. like she knows that that's sometimes she won't get tipped, Man. and it's her job to do that. This dude was just. This guy's like, give me your bags. I'm gonna do this and make you pay me. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? There's no, like, there's no feeling of like opt in or opt out. It's just like you yeah, have aggressive. to do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't they but, give me the option when I go to eat to go pick it up from the kitchen myself? Yeah, that's what skip the dishes is for. Yeah, idiot. You still have but the tip. You still pay then if what? No, you don't. You just pay on the app and it gets delivered to your house. Yeah, and you still have to tip people. So you who? don't have to. There's no like the, the, price, the, price, the, the, the prices on the app are more expensive. Then okay. going actually yeah, going there because that's tipping someone that compensate but no the, the price of the you actual pay the item. delivery fee and yeah they have a delivery yeah, fee delivery and not a tip that's included and they have in the contract of buying food. and they have the tip as well to it's subsidize a separate the thing shit wage they're giving them correct so instead of instead of tipping you gotta subsidize that wage <laughs> that's why tipping is a good thing I would rather be like okay oh fuck you gonna stop charging me a fee I'll give just show up at my house and I'll give you a, an extra five that doesn't get taxed by your company the so, delivery guy I'm just gonna eat ramen the rest of my life basically <laughs> Rob what you're saying is that you don't like having to tip the person for carrying your bags because you feel like you're forced to but you're forced to do it for food anyways because like you would never leave a zero dollar tip like, I feel like you've just never seen those dudes at the airport yeah, like, have you ever had no, your I bag have, grabbed no, but, out of like, your hand I was gonna say like, I, <laughs> like this lady isn't coming up to me and like oh you want the meatloaf today jam it yeah. Yeah. it's like hey what do you want on this menu of 30 someone walks up and smacks a plate <laughs> yeah. of sushi over and your head and then asks for money no yeah. this guy just rips your bags in your hand and like, asks for money they go like they are like aggressive and they push you with it a waitress is never gonna be like hey if you don't tip me I'm gonna Beat your, your food, away. yeah. <laughs> I mean, they do spin your food and stuff. Okay, yeah, but I'm okay you're, with that. You're just a boomer when it comes to this it stuff, adds bro. Flavor. <laughs> you're, you're saying they don't do this. Like, well, they do. Dude, well, no, okay, they don't, well, Mister. You're just a tip. Bo- you're a boomer, bro. Only at McDonald's. <laughs> okay, boomer. Christian is a boomer when it comes to tipping. Okay, he's a boomer. No, a, no, a boomer is. would be dropping money like it's fucking nothing. No, every boomer they I love tipping. tipping. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. What? An old person I know. Claims that they have never tipped anyone in their entire life. <laughs> what a legend. Is it is it Drew? <laughs> yes. No, I tip people. That'll be Drew in twenty years. It's actually Drew's great grandfather. And it might be said he's gonna pass it down from generation hey, to generation. Leave him alone. Drew's the type of dude to just plant a hair in the food every single time, <laughs> try to get it free. <laughs> it gets celebrity well, puts it in. I have one more All right. question. You're pointing at me, so it must yeah, be a big one. Well, because you're the one who's defending it so vehemently. All right. Would you tip uh for a haircut? No. Yeah, I, I do tip for a haircut. How much do you tip? About 10 bucks. Jeez. But yeah, I've been going to I've been the same hairdresser for about seven years now. So he's literally providing for that hairdresser's family. Yeah. I've been going child. to the same hairdresser for about, since I was 14, so 10 years now. You haven't tipped once? And yeah, I only started tipping this year. And each time I go, I tip about like three or four bucks. How yeah. much does it cost? The haircut itself is like 40. Yeah. What's yours? Mine's, same? mine's 30, 35. Yeah, you're just a scumbag. Man, you want to know, know what I hate about haircuts? Girls always complain about how expensive haircuts are, and they get it cut maybe once a year. Yep. Guys got to hit their haircut. Like, I cut mine cut. You I got, got yours I'm once get a year. Out. Well, like, no. With, like, a job and everything, I'm probably going to keep mine shorter than this. Yeah, but now you can afford it. Yeah. So it's like, I'll probably get a haircut every two months. Yikes. So that's like. Really? Two months? I go every month. I do mine every two months. Clockwork. Well, I can usually get my by hair, about a my month. My hair grows so fast. I just go until I I feel it, like itching my neck and shit. And when I get out of the shower and look like a fucking hargrave with my hair everywhere, that's when I know I got to get a haircut. It's time. It might be one of those times soon, but but you only tip. 
So your haircut costs forty bucks, and you t- give him two dollars. <laughs> just t- was... toss a toonie at the guy on the way out. I get like three or four. Toss maybe them five toonies on the way out. I don't know. My hair just my hair just was great though. So I tip I, my I... hair just well. Did you... She does something. She like gives me the head massage. Do you go to the mm-hmm. place? Gives near, me a haircut. Near like... me... Yeah. Yeah. What's let's start, what's her name? I go with Sonia. Oh, I go with Jessica. Ooh, Jessica. So maybe they talk is, is about Sonia you guys. The, is, she the Sonia. Older, is she the older one that has like... No. Oh, okay. I wish we had the video for that. <laughs> Rob just <laughs> symbolizes big boobs with his hands. She cut my hair once and there was one other side of my head and I was like, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. No, I, I thought you meant at the same time, like one was on each side of your head. Yeah, that's yeah, what he means. That's oh, what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's boy. exactly what he means. That's it's why like, it's, like getting, that's it's like getting oh, strapped okay. in for a roller coaster, you know? <laughs> that's why he pays 10 bucks. <laughs> experience See, i tip more than i uh than I, my actual haircut is <laughs> just now he gets a happy house. ending yeah Rob tips like 40 bucks i just go and make myself broke just to just have my haircut well i guess that, that's a good segue or did you want to well make- i was just gonna say i i just don't understand like haircuts i can understand somewhat tipping because they do a good job but at the same time that hairstylist is probably getting paid way more than minimum wage I just and, feel like, I don't know. Like, like, why do I, why do you need to just tip helping the family? It's value added. Like that hairdresser named a child after Rob. You're going to yeah. keep tipping the lady. Two ch- two That's because it is Rob's child. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't complain. I'll put it that way. <laughs> these prices are all like these because people pay them. Fair. It's capitalism, bro. So, yeah. uh, they've determined a, it, a point of price where they can sell. It and... all circles back to Big Pharma. Big Pharma. <laughs> I told you. The hair products they use are governed by Big Pharma. <laughs> and it's I told all controlled you. by Viagra. <laughs> it all circles right back. <laughs> Apple controls everything, man. That's oh, yeah. my conspiracy. That I want to talk about as well. My iPhone? So this fuckboy right here. <laughs> this piece of shit. Okay. He's, oh, he's so angry. Man. Starting Mes- off good. He messages me on Snapchat after I sent you something. I forgot what I said. Like completely was, disregards what I send and just says, I got an iPhone now. <laughs> I'm like, you have to call me sir is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, you have to call me sir now because I have an iPhone. And I was like, okay. He's like, he's you're like, a fuckboy. Yeah. I was and- like, okay. What the hell does that mean? And then you were like, oh, let me know if you ever want a deal on an iPhone. I was like, no. Like, let me know if you ever get a deal on at Pixels because yeah. I'll buy a Pixel. And he's just like, oh, like, you're going to get an Android. I was, like, like, <laughs> I was like, Pixels are the worst phones ever created. <laughs> and I think what shut you up was when I said Pixels are as good as the Vikings. No, and then I said, no, the Vikings would be an iPhone because of the best of phones. Yeah. And then what I, I replied was that the Vikings would be a BlackBerry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> dead. <laughs> Still have a keyboard, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It was funny, though. Yeah, you're, you're an elitist scum now. <laughs> well, it was like. It oh, was funny because Christian welcome. messaged me something on Snap, something like something as a cable blah blah blah. I actually, what are you like, doing? It was I think it, it was, was a meme qu- that was actually funny yeah, for him. And it, was, just, it was just something that I just said I was like, yo, I got an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I got a good deal at work. You know, my bank account's a little juicier now too. Oh wait, bank account update. Juicy yep. J, let's so go. So it's like about four hundred and seventy. Oh, he's out here. How Dinner's to, on Rob. See, I can't wait for when Rob has like a full time job and a career, like working CEO of a company. Where like bank account bank update, account <laughs> bank account update. It's like I, li- I literally, I literally can't 300. tell you guys because I'll get audited or something. <laughs> but um, but no. So oh, Rob, I'm paying less for so with the discount. Well, I got the I got the iPhone for free, the 10R for free. And then I was paying Kudo. I was paying for... Wait, I thought you got the 11. No, no. The 11 was... like I wanted to get a $0 phone. Oh. Plus the 10R and the 11 are almost the same. I couldn't really care about too much about the camera. Or like the but screen or anything. But it has three anything. cameras. Yeah, that looks strange no, no, no. too. That, do I know what I see? 11 has two. No, it has three. The 11 Pro oh, has yeah, three. Never mind, yeah. Sorry. Um, get it right. It's just one more camera for me to break anyways. So True. it's like whatever. Yeah, I'm going to break all three and then when I get it in January. Fuck it. You should get it out of where I where I work, man. Uh, I get it through direct. I will. I need to get a new phone soon. Yeah, do it. I can't wait for Drew to get I'm, that. I'm going through Nile, not you. <laughs> no, that works. Nile will Ooh. probably get you a better deal anyways. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably fuck it up and make you charge you the price of like a fucking car. <laughs> Rob, Rob messes up the other way. Charge you like a dollar a month. <laughs> yeah. Just never fixes it. Be awesome. Um, but I can't no. wait for, uh, for Drew to get that iPhone. You're going to pay money for it and then... You're gonna fail that test and have to pay for a new test as well. And you're like, fuck. I'm gonna have to sell my if iPhone. I hadn't bought this iPhone, I could Can't pay wait. for the test. I, I'm torn. I'm torn between Drew's getting an XS for like five hundred. Don't get that, man. Or getting a eleven Pro. Because what it realistically, whatever phone I get next, I'm gonna have for years. Dude, get get an eleven Pro just because the ten S is like No, I'm just telling Rob, you. Rob, you're gonna do great in your job, buddy. No, the ten the ten S is just like 
underpowered. That's the best way I can explain it. It's you meant need to do. You don't need to fucking. It's like, like designed for social media. That's like it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't have a. Drew, what do you do on your phone? I play intense video games. Yeah. You, you would if you do play shit like I that. I do lots want of better... Excel pivot tables and. Hold up, wait, Rob. What the fuck do you do on your phone? <laughs> I do a bit of everything. What? Fantasy football, social media. Fantasy like, football emailing. doesn't require Dude, much. It's actually nuts. Yeah. Like, and well, the thing is, I always have so many things open on my phone at once. Like, I have probably seven or eight apps going. That's on. one of my biggest like pet peeves of Amanda. When like when she's on the like, you open her laptop and you look, and there's like she's like, it's so slow. I don't know. You pop up the yeah. Explorer and there's thirty <laughs> tabs. Grab her phone, thirty plus tabs. Like yeah. she's scrolling for two minutes to find what she's looking for. That's that's like, I, I do it to myself too. But my old like my old Android, it couldn't keep up with it after a while. It's because I don't know. I like having they can jump around between apps because like say I'm like. But you can you can do that on any phone. I know, but it's just faster on this one. And like you can have like <laughs> skirt, skirt. thirty tabs open at once for you know it's a drop in uh, performance. Remember when I talked about how when I applied at the source and they were asking if I'd be willing to upsell to like senior citizens? Mm-hmm. I bet at this job they asked Robbie's like, tell me where they are right now. I'll upsell <laughs> to all the right old now. people. Hey, Give me a pen, I'll sign hey, for them. It's like, hey, I know you're going to move to a retirement home soon, but before you do, you might as well buy the best TV you can possibly get <laughs> for, for the people who are getting your house after you. You, wanna, you need you need a bank loan to buy this. <laughs> yeah, you, you need a credit card to buy the most expensive tier of TV you have. Your next OAS and you're payment? Just, and while you're at it, just give me 500 bucks, too. <laughs> okay. You, you, get, you get OAS and CPP every month? This is what you're spending on. <laughs> I'll, take a, I'll take a chunk of that pension, too, that you got. Hey. That you got. <laughs> uh what was i gonna say oh yeah but um yeah i just needed a phone that can do a lot of multitasking i don't i, did, I don't do a whole lot so of like, like every phone yeah but like literally every a phone Black that Bear exists can multitask yeah but like a flip you guys don't understand can multitask. like i can play snake and receive a text like, at the same uh, time this is why i wish i had no, no. it the bottom line is you wanted it I'm not and that's denying okay. that. And that's yeah. okay. But don't I, try to... I'm just getting attacked here No, but like getting an iPhone, so I'm trying to rationalize. You're getting no, you're not attacked. Attacked. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not attacking you for having an iPhone. We're attacking you because... Well, well he, he is. is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, this guy's like, <laughs> just pointing at me going like this. <laughs> we're attacking you because you said to Drew, literally... Don't get that. It's underpowered. You have to get this one. No, it's yeah. a recommendation. It's a recommendation. It wasn't, wasn't like Man, I wasn't saying to. like my the iPhone. Reason, the only reason I'm attacking you is because I just want you to say I bought it because I wanted it. Yeah. Well, I needed a new phone and I wanted an iPhone. So it, to, a go. want and a need had an yeah. alignment. And then. But you're trying to validate it. saying, oh, like I needed the speed. I have to have this. Well, I, I just have wanted have an iPhone. There you go. And then on top of hey. that, I wanted the speed. I wanted the performance. I wanted to like, mm-hmm. be able to have. A gajillion apps open at once and not have my phone freeze. A gajillion. Yeah. What do you have on your phone besides Tinder and f- fantasy football? Bumble. That's it. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> point is. Seven dating apps open at once. And I actually, just scrolling between. I have like one little, like, uh, what do you call Like when you folder? have a yeah, folder and it's just like Bumble, Tinder. Like, <laughs> Wait, what's the folder called? Hope. Grease. <laughs> <laughs> hope <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year maybe next year yeah <laughs> Greece is actually Greece. a really good name because like i was looking at it and i was like looking through and like there are all the icons and they're small enough that like you you could have to look at it to see what's in there and all you see underneath is grease and i was like <laughs> no one's gonna guess that oh my voice just cracked did you guys hear that no one's gonna guess that that's what happens when you get an iphone yeah geez you become a real man <laughs> <laughs> no it's been strange though like I've had like I was on Android for like seven years almost, so I have to get used to like a whole new. Actually, it's not that bad, but it's, it's not bad. It's at all. the exact same thing. I think like it's a little. It's different because I'm used to the my phone having like the. We're just, like this is gonna sound so trivial, but like oh, he's I'm, used to a home button. I'm used to having a button, and I'm used to having like a button that like kind of like closes everything at once. The Probably used to having a that. headphone jack too, eh? Yeah, that sucks yeah, but too. You can get a adapter so don't yeah, worry it's like they 10 could, bucks. for an extra 300 dollars you can buy airpods they can, no airpods are like, actually, i see how people want them but i would never buy wouldn't them, they be yeah. decent for the gym yeah they would but like i just can't afford it plus i'd rather buy Dude, you just told us yeah what about my car or my phone who bill cares but they have airpods, airpods now <laughs> i could have airpods you're right no but for christmas i asked for beats like over the head ones Ooh. oh god why would you get beats they're great quality by dre bro Oh wait! So you got some Bauer and Wilkins. Bauer and Wilkins, or no. I get a or I get a pair of Bose headphones too. Do but you, those I can't like maybe Bose, the Do you actually think Beats are good quality? Like I know ah, again, right. it's kind of like a flashy brand name, but they're good. I've listened to use them and listened to Come them. Come on, let's oh, roast no. Shane for once. 
Okay, yeah, I, I can't roast. But leave the poor man alone. Rob yeah, doesn't geez. understand audio technology. No, no matter what I, I brought up either. today, it's just been like... Basically, so the only thing hunt. that uh, beats have is bass. And unless you're listening to like heavy EDM nonstop... That's, that's what I, I listen want. to. It's heavy EDM at the gym. And you have it like, like cranked? Up, cranked. Well, they're not like to the point where I damage my ears, but man, like... What? When I went to the gym for like a day... Uh, <laughs> EDM, oh baby, it gets, it gets you, you going. I, I a nice just, squat sesh. I was just talking to like a man about that. I need to get a, a playlist with like some pump up stuff. Because I'm sitting in my car scrolling through my stuff. I'm like, it's all just dude, really chill music. Go on Taylor Spotify Swift. and uh, yeah, I know. Spotify has like two or three playlists. One's literally called Beast Mode, and I just put it on. <laughs> yeah, that no, time. no, I've actually listened through. It's, it's just shit. like it's just a picture of Rob. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's just like no, like just like hardcore rap, like EDM. Dubstep, Skrillex is it in there. It has a pretty upbeat podcast too. Yeah, it does. yeah, the Bag Boys podcast. The Bag Boys, yeah, you, you, can, hey. you can you can work out to a prop podcast. We're on Apple Podcasts now. You can you can uh, listen to this podcast on your new phone. I can use it, Apple Music to download a, well, I the mean, podcast. You can still use Spotify on an iPhone. No, you can't. No, what? That's for poor people. Come on, Drew. True. You idiot. <laughs> idiot. I verified my student eligibility today for uh, my discounted Apple Music. Really. Yeah, you, I, my, my sister was gonna get me a nice I gift. Pay five bucks. I pay five bucks For a month. Wait, how did you reconfirm your student eligibility? You graduated a year ago. Shh, they'll hear this. Shh. Hey man, if they're gonna let me do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm messaging Apple right now. All right, Steve well, Jobs, he's dead. Got man. Wazzy nice. on the telly. Yeah, he passed away, bro. You can't talk ill about the the deceased. It's bad okay. karma. Hi, uh, Juice World. My friend is uh, <laughs> stealing Apple Music for cheap. <laughs> One thing, I don't know if any of you guys can provide any insight into this. And I'll probably sound like an asshole when I say it. Yep. Well, yeah, I sound like an asshole right. to begin with. So. so why why do all these people come into my Twitch chat when like Juice World died and they're like, "Hey guys, like Juice World died." F. Like, like what does that what does that do? I have to pay respects. Yeah. But like, but going know, they're, into some they're looking tw- for a group. I don't know. Yeah, they're trying to find a, other know. people who are sad, man. Yeah. They're, like, it didn't really affect me too much. It was kind of like a whoa moment. But hold up. Yeah. I've like did you like did you know who he was before today? No. I, I didn't like his music either. Like I didn't like oh, his Oh Shane, you're supposed to whisper Shane, that fast. Man, it that. was like again, like no, I, kidding, I listened kidding. to it, it was there's a couple good songs, but like when it comes to listening to the full albums, I was I like, can eh. confidently say I didn't like or listen to any of his music, but like Twenty one. Yeah. He made a song Wait, about, is he the twenty one guy? No, that's, that's like 21 like, Savage. Oh. But, yo, but this guy... <laughs> he died, I'll be devastated. This, this, is some Illumin- <laughs> this is some Illuminati shit. He made a song and he says, I'm not going to make it past 21. Yeah, it's Illuminati shit when like you look it's, back. It's because... Like- it's because he did so many drugs that he knew he wasn't going to make it past Probably. 21. I guess it's a pretty easy claim to make. And the song, like, right before, there's like, all the good ones, like, die at 27. I'm not going to make it to 21. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like... It's like, obviously knew. coincidental, but it's I, I say, like, daily to Annie that I'm not going to make it past 40. I probably won't make it past Why? 40. Just make sure you I'm put me in your not. will before then. <laughs> for, Unhealthy for lifestyle. We should pencil ourselves in somehow. Yeah, we'll get there. I'll get I'll worry. get one of the Teslas and no, you won't. Maybe one of these monitors. It's <laughs> 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 like looking around the room. Like, I'll take the dip the, the Habana jacket. I like how there's so much more expensive stuff in here, but you want the one hundred dollar <laughs> monitor. Oh, that monitor, man. I'll get a one fifty dollar monitor. I'll take the piece of the cardboard. That Lego set's worth like a thousand. You yeah, could what, sell that. What, make, what are you gonna do with Lego, man? You Build could sell that for ten monitors. I'll take the three thousand dollar paperweight. See, this is why Rob True. has no money at his work. They were like, "Oh, we can either offer you fifteen dollars an hour, or we'll give you one free phone." He's like, "I'll take the Dude, phone." Take the oh, phone. maybe. <laughs> well, it's just like I would have bought a phone anyways. Actually, I don't know. So okay. wait, what happens when you quit now? No, it's great. So it's I, locked in. So it's locked in for. Hey. Th- for my probation period, three months, and then if I pass that, I get it for two years, and okay, then I, and then it just mm-hmm. keeps going. Even if I quit for two years, mm-hmm. so it's like always going to be there. Rob's so, just going to go back every two years. No, yeah. so he's going to work for three months and then quit. No, I'm not going to quit because I actually kind of like it. I think I'm gonna. It's like, awesome. a good, again, it's a good in between. Yeah, it's like if I. I've, I'm not really looking for a full time job right now, like I was, oh, but God, I kind of Rob's dad. Please don't get angry. I know I stopped my search just because Stop it's like listening, sir. everywhere I talk to you, like I ha- like I had an interview with a company, like an information interview, not an actual interview, and I was like just wondering, like, do you, when was the last time you guys like started hiring? Like, oh, we froze our hiring processes like two months ago. Another place was like, oh, it's like fourth quarter. They're trying to meet like financial like 
uh, goal, so they're laying people off. You know what well, I mean? Yeah, it's a hard sense. time of year to get hired anywhere. Mm-hmm. Usually you wait till like uh, late January or early February. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm just going to grind out where I'm at until... Again, it's a good filler. Yeah, it's you a good... Sort your life I'm happy with where I'm at because I got I get out of the house, make some money, but I also don't have like, any giant um, commitments to decide on so mm-hmm. well if it makes you feel any better me and annie are looking at houses now and we'll look for one where you can get a bedroom for you awesome yeah i'm hoping the basement with strong wi-fi and i'm <laughs> on my own fridge too okay are you actually looking at houses i thought you're gonna buy a puppy first well um so i told well, my mom yeah, about the but... cyber truck and then yeah. she said why are you gonna get a cyber truck get a house and now she convinced annie that we need a house so we'll just get just get into property just, management now, well now you just now you need like a, a three-car garage so it makes sense <laughs> to get the house because you can't park the cyber truck here. <laughs> so it makes all it makes sense. That all comes adds together. Up. You should just start buying a bunch of properties around here, man. Mm. Make a bunch of money. Honestly, you should. I found my dream house already. Where? Or where? <laughs> Here's but, the address. Is it like it's, close? Yeah, but it's such like it's not. I'm not gonna buy. It. It's like 1.5 million. <laughs> oh, dude, it's houses are really Drew's house. Houses are expensive, man. I, like obviously they are, but I didn't realize how just how expensive. There's a house on the corner where near where Drew and I live. Like super fucking busy. Like it's always going to be loud. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know how much the it's going ones? for? Yeah. There's so one, two, three. Yeah. The first one is 1.2 million. <laughs> 1.6 million. The 1.8 million. Oh, I saw nice. the 1.2 1. one. 1.8. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe 1.7, but like it's above 1.6 for sure. That's sick nice. man. Have those sell, and then my parents can put theirs on the market and retire. Early. Yeah, that's what my my parents are joking, saying like, "Oh fuck, hopefully they go for that much," because like if that we'll go for that much there how much will our houses go for that's bomb at the end of like the quiet ass street in the same neighborhood mm-hmm. but like holy fuck. but they're much nicer houses right they're like they're newer they're new. from like, what i saw like they were like very modern very they're big. like brand new like like they're big ceilings and look nice yeah. on the inside probably have all, and i think another thing i think is they i think the uh they're all fully furnished too with like appliances you and guys, furniture you guys now though live in what is probably like a rich area that whole side of town like now is- even farther though if you keep going to like well, like yeah, just yeah. farther down, like there's some giant houses, like where. Well, that's what I mean. That whole corner of town now is literally like, yeah, you got a million dollars. If you don't, you don't live there. It's just it's turning into like a retirement community almost, man. All my neighbors that's, that's, minus that's like the only people who can afford it. <laughs> like all the my boomers. neighbors, yeah. all my neighbors minus Boomsies. like three houses and Drew are like old ass people, but yeah. without kids. Yeah, man. When my parents moved there, there was no houses on the street aside from us and our neighbors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was the same with uh, me like the houses are new, same. like twenty years old. Yeah, like new, like not as new as the ones that we're, we were just talking about, but they're like, I don't know. I bet I've never, and if most of them are like my house at least, like my, my parents sunk a lot of money in like renovations and shit too. Well, that's the thing I'm really concerned about, and why I don't really want to buy a house is it costs so much to upkeep it. Obviously, you yeah. make that money back on the investment, but I don't want to spend like twenty thousand every few years like upgrading the driveway or the you don't have roof. to upgrade things you just have to like, or, like maintain. maintain yeah, yeah. maintain it doesn't it's not, i don't think it's that crazy. If, you buy, if you buy a roof is like 10 yeah, to like 15k you, you don't have to if you buy yeah, like a those one are like roof, 25 year that's what i mean yeah the most of them have like a on. warranty for like a half century on the only thing you gotta maintain is like stop fucking clogging home depot had that shit. i don't think my parents have ever re-shingled their roof because mm-hmm. i know the roof on my parents house uh it's like a 20 year roof and it's already like tearing down now and it, it's about 20 years old well but... we can just we can do it ourselves let's do it let's yeah. help <laughs> i roofed the shed last summer i've roofed i've roofed before i've Almost never done died, it but it's great you make yeah, good money doing it, it. like at yeah. an actual place you make good money but you it's just the worst job well, you're just and roasting you the top of yeah. a fucking roof and you get paid minimum wage and the people you're working for like they never tip you so it sucks yeah you'll get tipped <laughs> but on roof shingles especially if it's christian's house <laughs> bring it right back boy <laughs> <laughs> there's would, this guy would you tip slid. them for shingling your roof oh no uh, it's, okay it's, technically if yes. there's here here's the thing if they serve me food then yeah I'll no tip no, no. okay technically yes because like we at our old house we had our roof shingled you just like the last day you brought out like some food in a case of yeah beer. a case of beer or something and you just sit and have a couple of beers like so technically you're tipping yeah so yes and, and, and that's and it. it. Get them drunk as they get climb them, up on your roof. Get them hammered and just hey, you guys Dude, they're all construction reach. guys. They're already drunk. Yeah, like, when they get there, so so true. <laughs> they got that flask just baking in the yeah, sun up there. What's crazy is getting a case of beer for them. Like they see that and they're like, "Oh, this is awesome." When you think about it, that's like maybe less than one percent tip. Dude, yeah. there's like on, on a hot day if something this has a case nice of cold, cold beer, beer in front of you. 
dude, that's worth like five million dollars in the moment, man. I can't even express that. <laughs> and we that live in enough. Canada, so that's like a that's like a fifty bucks right there. Yeah, that's an investment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I could have bought a house. <laughs> could have bought a house and some upkeep. Yeah, and a Tesla truck. <laughs> and the truck. But fuck, oh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's like that. Then there's like the non-currency tipping that we could like. You know what I mean? Yeah, like happy endings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, happy endings. What, when like the plumber that... comes to clean out your pipes. Yeah. A happy ending. That's not a tip though. Well, you're giving them a happy ending. Like, you, like <laughs> you you're are, like you, providing it. They're yeah. like, you no, know? you're providing. You, the you happy still ending. give them a tip. <laughs> yeah, the tip. You're giving them a tip. <laughs> that was the joke, Rob. The tip. Uh, okay, now this conversation makes a lot more a sense. A monetary tip. <laughs> Yikes. Just the tip. Get it? Oh my god. Genius. And genius. <laughs> um, I hate Rob. Man, let's uh, go climb some B12s. Pumped. Did we just talk about what? tipping for that entire time? No, it's been 45 minutes. <laughs> we talked no, about we, tipping for 45 minutes? We, 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 we got off a bit there, but... Do you think that it had been like two hours or something? Yeah. Because like, it's been two hours. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. You're just antsy. Yeah, I want to go climbing, man. I've been locked up studying for 5,000 years. Dude, you got to you explain these. why? They yeah. all know why. I don't remember. Well, you're a Drew has shitty a, friend. Drew has his... Uh, his G2 test next week. <laughs> <laughs> He's been studying you for two weeks. You can't even say that. Americans don't know what that means. Really? Fuck. That's his a driver's test. What is it in American? It's just a they driver's license. In Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they, don't, they don't have like a G2. For them, it's just like G1 and then G. Yeah. No wonder no one can drive there. So they have learner's permit and license. Well, I think everyone in America, like almost everywhere can drive significantly better than they can drive here. Really? Yeah. Like you get on a highway there? Really? I would argue no. Well, I, I, I've yes. not been the same. I've only driven much. there once, so I don't really have Unless yeah. a sample city. size. But like, tell me even New Yorkers? Cities, but like it, it's like organized chaos. So when I was driving into New York, it's a two lane road and it's just traffic. And somehow New Yorkers turn this two lane road into a four lane road. And we're all just cruising into the city. You can't tell me that's more, like, it's more efficient. Changes with all the New York guys. Gang, gang. <laughs> I think I'm on the grass. Let's go. All the, all the New Yorkers. Oops, a pedestrian. But the thing that kills me here is you'll like number one on the highway. How many times have you just been dr- like cruising and you just run into like a truck? Like, why are you in this lane? Yeah. Um, Wait, what? Like, like, a, like a an like eighteen a wheeler or something. Even. Yeah. But like, just stay in the right. It's also the four hundred one. Correct. But it's the like, busiest highway in North America. But like in the states, like all the trucks literally can't leave the right lane or the first two lanes. Yeah. I mean, and actually, like, that makes it's, a lot more it's sense. Bree's, Bree's dad's a truck driver, and we went down to Pittsburgh a couple of times. And the first time there, he was getting so angry at the truck drivers because he's like, "I drive like." Like you're not supposed to be doing this, correct? <laughs> and like the because he know like he 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 can't if do you, it either. If you watch them driving, like how many times again have you been stuck in like the fast lane and someone's going like fifty? Yeah, or they're matching the speed of the people beside them. Oh, in the states again, that when you're in the fast lane, oh. once you pass, you just merge right. Here, you just don't merge right. You just sit there. Again, I, it's it, it's significantly better. I despise when people do so that. So my like, my whole tipping look thing in your is rear like, view mirror. Yeah, Drew and driving. <laughs> Drew's yeah. a really angry driver. But uh, Man, just no. a second ago. <laughs> it's like inefficiencies. Like these people are going to cause me to crash because they're being stupid. <laughs> because like, I'm impatient. I'm going to run through <laughs> them. No. But like seriously, get your head out of your ass. It's like when, but, when Annie was in the car with us and we tailgated a guy like halfway across we town. We didn't even <laughs> tailgate him. No, because he was going 30. Like to be, it was a, not even. It, this guy could have braked on the diamond. We would have had like twenty minutes to stop. <laughs> like he was going so. <laughs> and Annie's in the back, like, but why? <laughs> She's like, why are you guys? And the guy turns yeah. around, me through, like waving at the dude. <laughs> the thing Andy didn't get, I didn't have my foot on the gas. No, we were just like I was coasting. Out, like, Twenty thirty. Oh gosh! Like, like this guy was just slow. <laughs> was it like the weather shit or something? No, no, no. no. It, was, it was in the middle of summer. <laughs> it was a nice summer night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's no reason uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i will give i'll give you that one but drew does get irrationally angry at drivers correct because they do stupid things but so are, the problem is when i drive my head's on a swivel i know everything that's happening around me so i drew, see all of the stupid shit that people do the the only argument i can make here is just that like <clears throat> everyone in the world thinks they're the best driver everyone thinks that everyone else is the problem no one is ever going to like just outright say i'm a bad driver right that's wrong you seen Canada's worst driver? <laughs> those, those people can admit they're pretty shitty drivers. Dude, it's like, such a good show. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I, I wonder if they're like they, they like can't merge onto highways. I wonder it's if it's like, like scripted to the point of like I like I know I 
don't think it is, but it's, like it's, some no, it's sh- not at all. Like they're just that bad. Some of the shit they do is just the black. host is always like, just use the gas, and they're like, I can't do it. <laughs> the like, best thing is, put like, your foot on the gas. Like you get down to like, there's like 20 people. You get it to final five, and like someone passes, and he's like, you don't deserve this license. <laughs> You're an awful fucking driver. <laughs> but like, I have no legal right to keep this license. Um, and then there's just some fucking menace on the road right after. <laughs> yeah. And they're going there's through a like donut and leaves. They're going through like the rap sheet, and it's just like, I have got like 50 tickets in three years. I have run over my neighbor's dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's man you see some ridiculous like some of the challenges they have to do they'll like have like the tiniest little s like it would be hard and then and then you know like they'll put a they'll put a pedestrian in front of you, you have to stop and they just like run over the pedestrians every time it's like what it's like, it's like what if that was a real person they like, like, killed them what, what were you doing how did you not see them the best are the speed ones where it's just literally there's a big ring of boxes and yeah, you just have yeah, to go yeah. like you're not even going that fast you're going like 60 kilometers an hour and you just watch these guys like the boxes are blowing up because <laughs> they have no idea where their car is like where the corners are zero <laughs> they're idea. just blowing through how, how many tickets do you guys have or if any i have like zero speed tickets yeah are you, anything traffic related this? tickets yeah we, we've talked about this like three times we have it. yeah not like how many specifically we have i Whoa. think i have like three speed and like one red light yeah <laughs> i have nice. zero I have zero. <laughs> I used I to like two, at, two speeding when it was like super, super late at night. Like I'm talking when I was like working nights and I was out at like two. Like you see a red light, you stop at it, you look both ways, and then you just cross. You just say fuck. Yeah, yeah. Man, and then both... until I got a red light ticket, I'm like, wait, why am I doing this? I'm <laughs> both an idiot. Of my speeding tickets. There's literally nobody else on the road. Do you guys ever get it when like you're driving down a road and there's like a light that like shouldn't change? There's no cars on the other side, and it just changes on you. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's time it all the fucking time. Again, so that that's what happens all the time. Like when we'd be out for lunch at like two a.m. Yeah, just go through. You again, you stop. You don't fly through the light, <laughs> but you know what I Rob mean. Rob does. <laughs> yeah, right. I have. It pisses me off. It's like, <laughs> yeah. well, okay, so <laughs> did I talk about speeding on the podcast? Like how I realized how useless it is. No. Okay. Well, it it took me a while to understand this, but like speeding actually barely saves you any time it saves me like 30 seconds it makes you like, it, it, it makes you think you do, you do though, oh yeah so it's worth it it 100 percent makes you think it but like on an average trip like say you're going to toronto and you're speeding the entire way you're maybe saving like two minutes we're gonna Which hit traffic minutes, at some man. point i i can i can shave 10 minutes off a toronto trip and that's the same with me safely like- that means you'd have to be going at least like 130 the entire way from here until that's, there that's the flow of traffic Literally Even when on, you're in, on the 401, if you're in the fast lane, you're usually at uh, least usually like sit 130. around 125, 130, which is actually kind of stupid. But <laughs> that's like the, that's like the autobahn for Canada. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's no man. The autobahn they go like 220. That's average. But but for dude, Canada, has there, for Canada. hasn't there like been never a crash on it? Or no, something? there has like no. Oh, there's crash, definitely just, crashes. But it man, my dad went to Germany and they had, they had to uh, they sent him a guy to pick him up <clears> from like Frankfurt to take him to Dresden. It was like a five hour trip. They took the autobahn and this guy's Audi. It was three hours. They were going two twenty in like the sleep, and that. <laughs> but like, it, that's just his normal commute. Like that, he does that every day. How does that? How does the autobahn work? Just a highway? Just it's just a, it open. has it has a minimum speed. That's it. And it's just like some giant highway that crosses Germany. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just a huge highway. They have they have like zones where if it's heavy flow of traffic, they'll have like a flashing speed limit. But like other than that, you just go. And the thing is, people move over. They 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 know what's around them. You're like, shit, this guy behind me wants to go faster. I'm going to move over so I don't cause any problems. Yeah. He I'm goes here, by. How, uh, keep boom. in mind, though, bada that's, bada boom. that's different in a place where there's no maximum. Whereas here, if you're going like 120, 130, and then someone's like riding your ass. No, man. Technically, it's over. a passing lane. You're supposed Correct. to use that lane to pass. That's why, again, I don't think Canadians get that. Like in the States, they get it because there's signs posted everywhere. Yeah. Here, they just don't get it. Um, if you go up north, s- uh, there's literally signs that say slower traffic, keep right. Mm-hmm. I've seen that. All up north. But like, I, think, I think most Canadian Ooh. drivers are just like, whatever lane has the least amount of cars in is the one I want to go the fastest. Correct. So it's like people constantly just getting in your fucking way. There's so, no like designated lane to go fast in besides the far left. But. For that sign thing, legally, they're not saying like, oh, if someone wants to speed like move over and let obviously them pass. Not, obviously, <laughs> but, but obviously if you, it's not binding legally. If no you shit. see a guy right on your ass, you should have the wherewithal to think, oh, I'm the slow traffic. Uh, yeah. I should keep right. But like, that's just not <laughs> like, common knowledge just, here. How, like, it's, not, it's not brain surgery. But it's not common knowledge here. Again, that's not uh, how people are taught. Like, like how were you guys taught to drive? Use your two brain like, cells. I was taught if you're going to 
like if you're going to speed, which you're not supposed to, stay left. Correct. And if you're going to go slow, stay go to the, the right. Or yeah, side. but that's not taught. But that's like that's like, not like a thing anymore. It's literally or, taught. The, it, uh, you pass you, on the you left. Learn it? In driving school. They don't teach you that. They taught me that. They taught me that. They like what when like in the actual school itself? Well, yeah. You went Who to the, the what you went to the white kids school. <laughs> they don't teach us well they taught us but i just didn't really because when i go on the road there's not there's like nobody doing it. there's people on the fast I guess angle and they, they're stupid there you go dude every, i mean they also teach you not to speed but everyone speeds so like people just, they don't care do they yeah not everyone. Uh, i don't know uh, not the people stuck i get stuck by. <laughs> have, you, have you never been on the 401 where literally yeah. every Ever single person going 130 everyone's started... going like 70 and uh yeah. oh, man. what 401 are you on oh the wrong yeah, one. the other one the smaller one but ever since, I, ever since I started paying my own insurance, I haven't sped or done anything. I just don't understand the point of it. It's not worth I it. I used to, but like not, then I realized like a speeding ticket's going to make my premium Man, jump it's like, like It's like you say bucks. speeding, but half the time I'm just going with the flow of traffic. Yeah, It's like, more I'm, dangerous for me to not go with the flow of like, traffic. That's one thing. They I'm, taught I'm that saying, in like, <laughs> Yeah. If, if you're that's driving, the one like, thing Shane listened to. <laughs> if you're driving like 90 through town here, then yeah, you're going to get a speeding ticket. Yeah, there's but, a place. But there's like a if you're on the place. highway and it's like... The speed limit's Man. 100, but everyone else is going 120. Then you have to keep pace. If I'm in North Bay and there's no one around me, I'm on the thing. Like, wh- why? Why can't I speed? Because the whole point of that is that it's not about what you can see. It's about what you can't see. What can't like, I see? What if, what if you're going <laughs> like, nobody the there. What if you're going like 120 and then a fucking deer comes so, okay, out? This is, this, I've, we've gotten this argument before. If I'm going 80, the speed limit, and a deer jumps out, I'm dead anyway. It's like yeah, my own really, fault. But... I am dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucked. Think... If I'm going 100, which is the speed limit, and a deer jumps out, I'm fucked. Yeah. If, like at speeding, like that for that, I'll I would say Shane, like 80 Shane's to got 100. Point. Like you're you're fucked. You yeah, that thing's coming right through the windshield. I I think the more ma- the main argument is basically just saying like you're just heavily increasing your chances. Obviously, at like 80 so, or 100, but, like, you're still at risk, but me. like you have a chance of survival. Whereas if like oh I want to go 140, no, you're right. You're but, just guaranteeing your own man, death. You're pretty much cars aren't meant to crash over like triple digits. You know what I mean? Like as soon as yeah. you get into hundreds, you're talking. It's all, like, and that's why the a, speed limit's 80. Up there. It's a level playing field. It's not though. Over it's 100. It's 100. Yeah. For which highway? All of them. Literally, the highway 11 is 100. Uh-huh. Everything going like the big, the main runs going up. If it starts with a four, it's 100, right? Four well, series highways. <laughs> I, I heard that on the highway radio. Highway 11 is 100. Yeah, it starts with a four. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard that on the radio, man. The, the four, four series highways are the all 100. The four and the 11 is silent. <laughs> Trans Canada Highway is 100. If not more up some point. The Trans Canada just, I don't up, think a single just, highway in Canada is above 100. Yeah, didn't they? <laughs> my, well, besides the four, my friend. Besides the... Uh, 401 up near Kingston is now... What's it called? The, 110. Yeah, I was going to say... They oh, just, really? They just, they just increased they upped it, it, didn't they? Yeah. Because really dri- it makes no sense. <laughs> well, because I think it was one of those, like, everyone up there is driving 120 anyway, yeah. so let's bring it to 110 and hopefully people can meet in the middle. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, they're, they're just going to drive Trans-Canada Highway. Yeah. In order to drive on the Trans-Canada Highway, does your car have have to be hybrid and gas powered at the same time hybrid means it's gas powered and electric Do you get at it, the though? same time no you're on the trans canada highway. yeah but oh, it would have been Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> your car is trans <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a hybrid to get <laughs> it pisses me off that you fucked up that joke so badly <laughs> it took me a minute but it's actually stupid like you could have literally just said it's a hybrid but you're like yeah. no it has to be a gas and hybrid <laughs> It's gas, gas, and electric. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a good one, though. Right? What a guy. No. <laughs> what a guy. No, okay, you... so that's the other argument that you could make is that... The like, trains can't no matter highway. Shut up. <laughs> no matter <laughs> what, when you increase the speed, everyone's just going to keep going slightly higher. So, like, why not cool, limit you got it? got an Autobahn. So you, so, you put it at, like, 100 because you know people are going to go 120. And that's why cops usually don't stop you going mm. 120. But then if you put it 110, then you are expecting them to go 130. Put it 120, you expect them to go 140. Correct. So like... So 110, they expect us to go 130. Yeah. Apples to oranges. But so that's the reason why they leave it at 100 is because they know that you're going to speed. But that's the, they that's, want the that's, cash that's wrong, from though. it. Like they're, they're slowly realizing on the highways that the speed limits are dumb. Let's raise them. Like this is conversations that are happening now. Mm-hmm. So it's slowly, they're all going to go up. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before the 401 is probably 110. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. Most like even uh, I think when you merge onto the four hundred one from Akirish, it's one ten. I want to say no. But no, they just, it's hundred. But they just made, the they, did, they just added on the more lanes when you get close it's to not 110, though. Cambo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not one ten there. No. One hundo. 
I can mm. guarantee you there's not a single highway from here to Toronto that's... You can guarantee. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. It's all 100. Funny story. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they actually... just changed drew, it today. Drew, drew plants a street sign <laughs> with 110 pixels. I think, uh, I think they're looking either the QEW or the 403. They're looking to up at parts to 110. The QEW, I, I heard they were talking about because, like, again, the QEW, QEW is then. already super sketch because people... The carpool actually, lane's fucked. The QEW, they're, they're talking about um, bringing in, like, a minimum of, like, 70 because like yeah. people drive on the QEW really slow and then there's like people going 140. Yeah, it's fucked. So it's more dangerous for the <laughs> slow people to be on the highway than it is for the fast people, which makes no sense. All the elderly people are probably fuck. We can't I do mean, 70 like, uh, anymore. <laughs> gotta go around. <laughs> That's another thing that they should really start doing, testing people. Well, I think I, like, it's once so you hit 65, you should dude, do your test every year. It's not even that. Honestly, you know it the, should just be like if you... Every five or 10 years. It should be, yeah. Every five or 10 years, you have to go take a test. Do you know what dude, the test is when you get old now? What? You just have to like point to hands on a clock. Actually, in order to drive. Yeah. No wonder, man. Like the other day, I was driving behind someone that was just in the middle of two lanes, like didn't know what they were doing. Clearly, I thought it was someone who was lost. It was Drew. And I pull, I pull up with just some old lady. Ooh, oh shit! <laughs> even... Have you ever like looked in beside you and it's a person like their chins above their steering wheel, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, if your airbag went off, that thing would punch you yeah. out the back window of your car. Your neck like... would be fucked. <laughs> yeah. It's literally just like the like the way people some sit in their cars and you drive by them. Like... It's like they're getting tortured or something. It's like lighting up. This Fuck. is why we need cyber trucks because I'm pretty sure they don't have airbags. They're just what? A, it's literally a rolling tank. Yeah, what? but that dude, but the glass can say. break, bro. Have, have you, you seen, seen the that? inside? The glass oh, can no. break, man. Oh, the dashboard, like the dashboard is literally a marble countertop. That's so gonna how crush... the fuck are you gonna get an airbag out of that? That's gonna crush boom. some skulls. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna crush anything. It's gonna just gonna go through. If it hits a car, you're just going through yeah. the car. There was a yeah, video that cool. was actually just posted the other day. Someone was driving around California, and the guy, I think it was Elon Musk, was driving around the Cybertruck. Really? All around California. Just really? Wherever you want to go. just out of battering around. And then, like, he went it. to a restaurant, left the car in the parking lot. Everyone's outside taking pictures of it. My dad's there. He's going to go take a look. <laughs> you just see a picture of him and Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into my old buddy, Elon. <laughs> oh, my old buddy from college. My aunt went to, my aunt went to school with him. Really? Yeah. In You're... South Africa? No. He went to Queens, man. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Wait, here? That. Yeah. In Kingston. Elon where, Musk where the did. speed limit's 110 now. Yeah. Yeah, he did that. <laughs> yeah, he did that because the Cybertruck goes uh, goes over 110. So yeah, he's he like, to be able to drive it. No, he did was, he actually he was, go to school here, though? He went to school to, he, to Google it. No, Yo. Do we, we just, what? <laughs> Shane, actually. we have to Google everything. It's a, it's a, it's a. It's like a quintessential, 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 a quintessential podcast thing. It's a quadrilateral. Everybody needs a everybody needs a Google screen. Uh, Elon Musk, Canada. Canada. <laughs> uh, he went to University of Pennsylvania. Queens, nineties and ninety two, right in what? the middle up top. This is bugging me though. You've been, you click the same page like six <laughs> times. You know it's bugging me. You press more and it just refreshes the page. <laughs> You're right. Uh, gotcha, Queens, bro. Wharton, and Pennsylvania. He's, he's decorated, man. Penn State. He doesn't he's a, have a... He's a Nittany Lion at heart. Oh, bro. he doesn't have a degree from Queens, though. Well, he's moved on to bigger yeah, He wasn't things. smart enough. He has a physics degree and an economics <laughs> he degree. He couldn't handle the speed That's limits. That's such an he odd combination. He couldn't handle the, like, with the 110 speed limits. What, what was it? Physics and Physics what? and economics. That's exactly what he does, though, isn't it? Like, they're both math. It's just, like, a really strange... <laughs> physics, math sucks, though, bro. That's the bro. worst strain it's of math. Bro. Isn't he like a like a genius though? Yeah. Yeah, he started Shopify first, didn't or PayPal. Yeah. And then yeah. that's how he made all of his money. Yeah, he, he started PayPal, got a hair transplant and a <laughs> wife, and then started Tesla. I'd say that's probably more to do with stress. You think I'm kidding, man? He was bald in PayPal days. Really? Like Grim. bald. Hmm. Yeah. Elon Musk is a very interesting <laughs> he had, person. He had a horseshoe. Really? That yeah, sucks. in the PayPal days. Got it wasn't a, a full horseshoe. It was just thin hair. It was. Oof. Let me see. Oh, here we I don't go. know, man. Another Google. And then, then he Google got a hair images. transplant. You're making uh, more work for yourself later. <laughs> I'm not bothering putting this in. Oof. Why do it? Don't type Oof. P or else Pornhub will pop up. <laughs> yeah, when are we going to get a monitor to Google stuff in the other room? <laughs> Once I. Yeah, look out. at that. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. But, like. It's not fully bald. Look at, it's just with, thin look, hair. Uh, look at the picture with him and Waldo. It's Yuck. Worse. It's the same photo. 
True. <laughs> you got a mic in the way. Dude, what, what the fuck, Elon? Oh, don't be mean to the guy. Elon, if you listen to him, you can hear this. Your hair looks like shit before, man. Wow. Also, yeah, but now he looks better track. than you ever will. Oof. I don't know about that. Oh, that's my <laughs> mic again. Just got a Trust me. I can guarantee you that if we were to put you and Elon Musk in front of a girl, 99.9. It wouldn't, it wouldn't 9. be fair to Elon Musk, dude. I would feel bad <laughs> doing that to him. True. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that to my to one of my good longtime friends, man. He gives me money all the time. <laughs> Is this why you haven't gone? Do you gotten imagine he walks in bank account update uh, three point four million? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Elon swam by this weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bought Elon a pizza, so you know he said to pay me back. It's amazing. I bought him a pizza ten years ago before we started PayPal, and then he said to yeah, pay you know, me back. Time Call value of money and all that. Yeah, <laughs> present value formula. Inflation. Economics. For P, it's what P. Bracket V something exponent blah 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 blah. <laughs> I forget all that shit. Fucking math, dude. I have to. I might have to do that. Um. Well, actually, probably not. One of the one of the jobs I interviewed for was like, how comfortable are you doing math? And I was like, I haven't done it since my like third year of my degree, but like I get used to it. And they're like, okay, what about this math? They sh- show me this paper, and it's just like the biggest chunk of a formula I've ever seen in my entire life. What was the formula? It was like, well, it was for an annuity. It was, hey. it, it was like P... Annuity do or no? Annuity. It was like... I don't remember, to be honest. It was just you like... Guys speak English? It was like, would you be able to do this? And I was like, no. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> they were like, oh. And then, okay, they, we have a skill at, uh, testing question. It's like three plus four equals... <laughs> Eight? Can I get a new question? <laughs> yeah. Three plus four. I put a bad Sorry, question mark. I can't do this one either. Uh. Yeah, just be like, fuck. Uh, but I get I was, comfortable with math. Yeah. Don't worry. But yeah, I was like, yeah. Do you guys know what annuities are? Year. An annuity? They're just, no, they're just like cash payments over a certain specified time. Yeah, oh, yeah, a year. You didn't know that? What? Annuity sounds like annual, so it means year. Yeah, but sure. <laughs> I'm right. No. We did it. <laughs> you we got did. it, buddy. <laughs> we did it. You and Reddit did it. This is why I dropped out of math. <laughs> math sucks, dude. Math's the fucking worst. Math's the best. Math and Go chemistry math. are the two stupidest things I've ever done with my Chemistry time. I'll agree with. Chemistry and is bio. brutal, man. It sucks. You I'd say t- economics was like the worst. I know stats. I stats was the yeah, worst stats fucking sucks. class. I ever. didn't mind econ yeah, because like right. econ was like applied math, so you knew econ, what I was yeah, doing. Yeah, it was okay. But, but honestly, like, anyone who enjoys stats is no, there's stats something wrong with them. You ever have to mentally use that, deranged that SPSS thing? I don't like stats. <laughs> what <laughs> the SPSS program? <laughs> oh yeah, it's like spas. Yeah, spas. Well, we, we had to do everything on that. Shane, I have the same socks as you. I literally have hey. those socks. Okay. Do next, yours have a hole in the heel? Yeah, I I'll, gotta toss I'll, them I'll, I'll put a hole in, in mine. I'm literally gonna wear those next time just to prove All to right, you that I, I have the same I socks. I will too. We'll match. Are they wieners? No, they're it's turkeys. a turkey, man. Oh. You guys are all wearing but, colorful but, but, socks today, and I'm wearing. I, I got my boxing gloves on. Ever since I started dating Annie, my wardrobe has become much more colorful. You're wearing avocado <laughs> socks. <laughs> she True, she gets are... me like uh food themed socks and underwear all the time. Those are actually sick socks. I would wear those to work. She should do food through the underwear. She should do like edible like corsets for you to wear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally thought those were flowers, Drew. They're boxing gloves. I was gloves. questioning you for a sec, but then I see they're boxing gloves. Did Brie get you those? No, I got them myself. Those Brie are... got me the Brie got me the wiener dog ones. Nice. Wiener dog? See, yeah. Rob's just jealous because he has no girl to get them. Dude, Colorful. One, one of my ex girlfriends got, got me a pair of box- socks. One of my ex girlfriends got me a pair of boxers that says, It's a wall, it's a gingerbread man, and it says, Don't bite my head. It's pretty good. Get it? <laughs> do you get it? Yeah. yeah it's pretty good, yeah. I Christian, love that. do you get I it? I get it. <laughs> I got. Jeez. Salt and limes. Salt and limes. Today. <laughs> tequila shots for yeah. the boys. I got straight gray. Oh, I have double avocados. Hey! Oh, hey! Let's let's go. Go. My underwear and got? socks it's have avocados. It's an avocado. I got black hey. tiny whiteies. <laughs> Those are like small ones too, man. <laughs> Don't worry. What? Black tiny whiteies <laughs> extra small. <laughs> Just the way you look. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to Roxanne's for my second shift after, boys. <laughs> Rob, don't worry. In like 10 years when you find a girl finally, you'll, get, years, you'll get more colorful socks and underwear. 10 years, I'll already have grand kids <laughs> how Wait. fertile are your loins pretty goddamn fertile <laughs> <laughs> rob's Jeez. gonna be that 60 year old man who's like producing still yeah producing <laughs> wait oh, did you wait what were you gonna say i was gonna say you haven't had a like a tinder or bumble update in a while yeah I, to be honest i was just too focused on getting a job 
It was too hard for me to, you know. Well, you got uh, a job, so what now? Yeah, now I'm back after it. Let me tell you. I thought there was a prospect, like two. Weeks there ago. was, but like disappeared. They're still around, just you know, some uh, complications arose. And they're crazy. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll create a, like a a snackable report on that to, for next week. Snackable. How's that? He's gonna come in with a fucking pocket projector and a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> and be like, "I guess just like a, a three hundred slides at the bottom." <laughs> Step. Right, we'll take the it. first cool, day. Cool. You dropped your keys, Drew. Yeah, I know. I threw but, them technically. No, uh, but yeah, I don't know a lot. I'll uh, yeah, I'll update you guys on that front after. It just was like I was too, you know, I was worried about getting a job. I wasn't really checking my phone too much. But now that I have a new phone and a job, I'm on it all the time, anyways. Which means it's time. It's time. Hunt- <laughs> it's hunting season. Put it that way. It's cuffing, cuffing season, season's though. over. No, hunting season. Yeah, you gotta wait for next season. Do you I have guess. your license? Did you buy your tags? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Rob sleeps with a girl and the next morning just puts a tag around her ear and <laughs> walks away? <laughs> I'm just gonna put a date on this one. Yeah. yeah. Make sure she's still Specimen warm. Specimen 72. Specimen. <laughs> <laughs> Specimen. <laughs> I'll give her a shirt that says I went home with Robin like I was a stupid t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, like a stack of the t shirts yeah. as you leave your house. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, here you go. <laughs> I have like a little gift oh shop. My, that would be amazing. That would be pretty Would jokes. they all have the varsity creep on it? Yeah. No, it'd be all these Habana jackets. No, the varsity actually, creep, actually, yeah, on the we shoulder. We told Rob how much it was yet. What, the Hibana jacket? Yeah. $300 American. 300 <laughs> fucking bucks. Shit, I didn't know that. That's nuts. That's really expensive. I they only made 90. So. I wouldn't even wipe my ass with that thing. It's either. one in 90. I would hope you wouldn't wipe your ass with <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, because it's not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> o- only three ply only three ply Royale bath and tissue <laughs> is worth worth it. I hate Royal. Royale, if you're listening, feel free to sponsor us. Oh. Three fly. The, 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 there's a Royale for every this room. guys out here trying to get Royale sponsors. <laughs> Dude, one last thing I have to buy, man. I, I went my ass with fucking... Yo, yeah, toilet paper is expensive. Let's give it to I him. ran out of toilet paper. I still don't have any, but I'm using Costco <laughs> paper towel rolls just because they're so big. <laughs> you like, live at whole home. rolls, whole yeah. rolls. So like, don't your parents buy... Yeah, but like, I just don't know where, don't know where, they, where it is. <laughs> what <laughs> so you live at home with both your parents and you could easily ask either of them where is the goddamn toilet paper theirs? yeah but then they tell him to get a job well and, and he'd have to be like yeah. i have one and his dad would be like do but, you son <laughs> that's exactly how it would be <laughs> i got you rob i, I understand just, the pain <laughs> just pull the alpha move take theirs you know when i do and it, replace it with the cost wait how many washrooms in your house three no four what? What? take the other two they don't use all four a four gang. It must be a neighborhood thing. Yeah. I, they definitely don't use all four. <laughs> no, but be like, I use one, they use one. That's uh, there it. you go. The other two just grab a roll. <laughs> but like, that's funny because you go to my basement and all you see is like, that's where my bathroom is. Oh, there's this giant roll of Costco toilet paper or <laughs> tissue paper on top of my toilet. The toilet thing is empty. There's not even a roll there. <laughs> just ask for some or take some. I just, it's just one less conversation I'd have to Again, have, man. Yeah. Bathroom two or three. Take them from there. Yeah, I might. That's actually, I might do it when I get home tonight, actually. Got you. I kind of got to poo. I feel something formulating right now, so. I can't wait. He's going to go into the bathroom and start grabbing supplies, and then his dad is going to be waiting outside of the you paying What's for this? that, son? <laughs> yeah. I'll add it to the tab. The other day, I ran out of shampoo, and I was like stealthily trying to snag one of like, the travel bottles they keep in their bathroom. <laughs> I'm literally like, the lights are off. I'm like hugging the wall and shit like that because they were asleep. And I was trying to take a shower in their bathroom like where they keep all their stuff in their bedroom. And I'm like hugging the wall, like Mission Impossible. And then, of course, like one of them had to get up for something. And I like quickly jump back to the wall, like close the door over myself like this. <laughs> Like you know, like you can like like literally in like this part yeah. of the room. I was like, "Fuck!" Right man. behind the door, yeah. into the wall. That's and amazing. It was really weird because like I was in my parents' bedroom, <laughs> but like and like I was just trying to like secure some. What free if they weren't place. actually sleeping? That would have been really. That would have been really weird, but thankfully <laughs> they were. Well, then Rob could night for Rob. <laughs> Rob could have been like, "Oh, I also need condoms. Can you spare one?" Uh, and he could save some money there uh, too. It's time we don't use any. I don't want to. You, you guys are. We're making you a, a baby brother. <laughs> la 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 la. la. Son, I'm over. La 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 la. <laughs> we're done. La la la. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, I had to. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I had to, <laughs> I had to take a course. I didn't have to. I took a course in first year on like 
Sex. I don't even know. Gerontology. What does that mean? I'm pretty sure it's the study of old people. I'm and uh, in their wieners. Oh, geriatrics and stuff. No. Anyways, like the study of geriatrics. Like, is it called geriology because every old dude's name is, is Jerry? Gerontology. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Anywho, and uh, That's my grandpa's name actually. So. We had for for part of the course, we either had to go out in the community and volunteer. Or join like a, a group session with a <laughs> with an elderly couple and like talk to them and stuff. So I chose that because it was easier and I didn't have to take a bus. And uh, one Sorry. of the one of the weeks we had to talk about their sex life, and it was the most uncomfortable thing I have ever been Don't a part of. Don't people like I heard like retirement homes are like the breeding ground like for frat houses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> retirement homes are frat houses for old people. Yeah. They're like no they the they actually have like the highest rate of STDs out of anywhere. Yeah. R- retirement Fuck. because they're they're all old, they don't use protection because they don't have to. Yeah, they're like and it's what, just STDs. Gonna get a kid, gonna get pregnant. Yeah, so they just they get fucking STDs out the wazoo. So these old people are just dusting their shit off and getting after it. Oh, oh yeah. Like, oh man, there's no dusty, dust in there. Dusty flappy curtains. There's no, there's no need for dust. It's well used. Yeah, it's, it's like an, it's, a, it's like it's a, still in service. It's like a well chewed pack or well they, chewed piece of gum, just stretchy, but still has a little going. bit of flavor left. <laughs> Why do you think they all love Jello so much? They pocket the Jello for later. Just stuff it in their bed sheets. Yeah. Rob's now realizing why three of his grandparents went to retirement homes and they were so excited for yeah. it. <laughs> Man, they're like, like, but Grand, how are we gonna have breakfast on Sundays? And he's like, ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be getting my filling. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're entering oh. la 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 Not territory again. again. <laughs> Do you guys want to imagine all your elderly relatives wait, wait, having wait, sex? I want, well, so, what was your, what was the conversation like? What had happened? Oh no, I tried to, I tried to forget about it. I don't want to like selective amnesia they literally would tell us how like they still had sex and like all this stuff it's beautiful and they're like 70 yeah. years old but it, it's great good for them i just like why yeah. why am i being so i like i don't want to hear about two 20 <laughs> year olds having sex like, I, I don't, I you're don't just wanna... talking about rob and his conquests you were joking i don't want to sit here and listen <laughs> to you and annie talk like candidly about your sex life some old dude looks you right in the like, eyes is like i had sex yesterday son it's, it's the best like, day ever it's like cool With man her. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> points to one of your classmates yeah. <laughs> oh, like, sitting beside your girlfriend like wait what the fuck <laughs> With her just the arm comes up like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> his arms like dangling. He's, he's got the he's got the huge knuckles and the like yeah. the bony yeah. fingers. The, the, the old person handling this. <laughs> the knuckles are ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> oh, god. Uh, oh man. Yeah. All right. Well, if I didn't have to throw up a poo before, I definitely have to. Wait, why would you have to poo after you hear something disgusting? It's just a. Instant. That's how it's my a, body it's reacts. Stress. Man. It's a stress. It's a stress okay. reaction. You... And that's just the most fucking thing. Ever. Rob walks in on his parents, <laughs> and the first thing that happens, he just shits himself. <laughs> <laughs> that's his natural body reaction. It's either that or a bloody nose. When I was when I was thir- thirteen, sometimes both. I went to go see Indiana Jones in a, in a movie theater with a summer camp. And I was so scared, I got a bloody nose. Of Indiana Jones? Yeah. Why? Dude, it's terrible. It's, I don't know, like, man. It was the movie with... It yeah, was the Kingdom the of the Crystal Skull, man. That was the shittiest movie they the ever made. Is that the one where like, the cockroach like, goes inside the dude? And, yeah. Like, well, it was the one where the guy gets eaten alive by ants. And yeah, I was yeah, like... Uh, man, I was just like... I was like shaking. I just be, remember feeling my nose was like... My face felt like wet. Rob's like, and I'm just looking down, just dripping blood. <laughs> and the people are outside of me are like, Holy fuck, this guy's about to die. Dang, it's got him. Oh, no. <laughs> it's real. I, no, I could control my nosebleeds as a kid, so I would always just freak people out. You know what, what I mean? Like, well, yeah, you know honestly, what I mean? No, 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 like, well, like, like, no every like, time he had to think. Nosebleed. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> never, so he'd just be sitting uh, there like, oh. <laughs> He's trying to scare someone. Two plus two. Uh, it's like, quick, nosebleed. scare me. It's like, quick, What's why is the sky blue? It's like, oh, fuck. Uh. It's like Eleven from Stranger Things, you know? Whenever she uses her power, her nosebleeds. You've seen so, Stranger Things, right? No, I haven't. No. But what? I, I know the reference. I know the reference. But I'm still... What? I'm, I'm still baffled by the fact that you could control your well, nose. Well, like, not please. control it. Like, if I felt one coming, I just wouldn't stop it. And then, like, <laughs> it would get you out of class for a bit. 
So you couldn't control it. You just knew when it was going to happen because you could feel it. Yeah, it's well, it's not like controlling your nose. I don't know why. I just had a really dry but nose could you kid. stop it if you wanted to? And like, it's getting kind of gross, but I could bring it on if I went far up enough yeah, in there and just kind of wiggled around. Yeah, that's you poking your brain. That's why you can't do math anymore. <laughs> is that why? Is, is that why 3 plus 3 equals 7? Really? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But what Drew said, could you stop it? Like, if you I wanted to. Time. Like, I could stuff Kleenex under my nose. That's not stopping it. <laughs> That's how you stop that, it. Though. You're acting. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's saying like in you can control. like mentally yeah, yeah, yeah. control it. Yeah, he's just like, if I really wanted to, I could stop it or bring it on whenever I wanted. But no, you just knew when it was coming yeah. and you could prepare yourself. That's it. What's the difference? <laughs> I just I just explained it differently. It's like, it was like <laughs> when you know you're gonna shit, so you go to the washroom. Yeah, I, like, I can control when I, I shit. Can control my shit. It's as simple as that. <laughs> What's so hard about that to grasp, man? It's the exact same concept, man. <laughs> Apples to apples. Exactly. Fucking idiot. Apples to apples, oh, man. No. Some apples to oranges. What is I, bet I, I, I honestly bet I could bring him a nosebleed on now if I wanted Do to. Do it. Do it. Do it. I've been like sneezing and shit a lot because it's been getting cold out. No, don't do it, please. Do it. Do it. Okay, I'm actually going to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like eagerly waiting. Now my nose is going to be really runny. <laughs> With blood. <laughs> but if you want to, you could stop it. Yeah, I can control my nose being runny or not. It's the same thing. That's, That's sick, Rob. Want to know Rob's secret? He hasn't thought for himself in <laughs> fifteen years. <laughs> just, just gotta coast, man. That's how you get by. Jeez. Your brain will get you to where you want to be. You don't have to actually control it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Yeah. Exactly. So right, we have enough time for one more topic. <laughs> I was just gonna say, some days I feel like I don't want to use my brain. I just kind of like get by. Until That's like, right. this, you know what I mean? It's like five o'clock, you go to work. It's like, oh shit, I work today. I already forgot. So this reminds me of a, oh yeah, it's the topic I want to bring up. <laughs> On the way home? Wait, where am I going? Yeah, wait, from? where am I driving from? <laughs> what did car, I get here? Whose car is this? I want to <laughs> Who am I? was literally me today. They're like, oh, we're going for dinner. And I just drove to Christian's house. And I was like, oh yeah, we're going for dinner. <laughs> and then just walked over to dinner. Like, <laughs> um, That's how it happens. I was going to say, so my friend talked to me about this the other day. And for me, it's not a thing because I, it doesn't apply to me. Wait, it's a girl trying to date me? <laughs> yeah. Oh. But, <laughs> okay, so let's say you guys are at home, right? All right, I'm not at and home. Like, you need to do... oh, let me close my eyes. And... Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. imagining. I'm and you need house. to do, like, you need to be productive. Okay. All right. Do you, like, force yourself to get dressed in, like, jeans and going no. out clothes no, to be more productive? Wait, what, kind of pro- what kind of productivity? Well, for them, they, were, they were talking about, like, doing homework and writing and stuff. So, like, for school, I know you guys have been out of school for a while, but... What I used to do and I, what I still do if I need to do something like like my productivity is now what dishes and cleaning the house. Yeah. It just crank music, dance around the house and then like turn the music down. Keep like the same stuff on. <clears throat> and then I just feel like I can do whatever. You just okay. gotta get get the get the blood flow yeah. and dance around the house like no one's there. But you don't need to put on clothes like fancy. Oh, I just I need, I, I need to make... leave my house to be productive. Okay. Ah. Like during school, it's like So so back when I was in like elementary high school, I couldn't do any work at home. That's yeah. fair. I had to, I couldn't be at home to do anything. Hmm. But like, which is why I'm not. But like, <laughs> like for me, it was like my student, the house I lived at. There was a dog and like six people living there. Yeah. So no matter what, I had to leave to do work anyways. I'm talking about like, say, like right now. For like example, if, let's say you lived at home. If I lived at home and like, let's say I had to like do like a, a for some reason a paper for yeah. like tomorrow, I could like if I was gonna do it at home, I need to like have like some soft like jazz music playing you know mm-hmm. but you some don't have brain to get, music you don't but have i can do it in up. sweats yeah. okay it's not like so that's what we were talking about was that my one friend says he feels like if he's at home because he's still in school he has to put on jeans and like a okay shirt like a going out shirt just so he feels productive and works at home Interesting. meanwhile like, like a, well man. obviously i i'm in sweatpants all day so that's different but like i i feel like i can be productive in sweats like I, if i need to but if you didn't wear pants could you be the same have the same productivity no, I'd be very uncomfortable in this chair with there you go. without pants on. So, so you just proved your friend's point. I never, <laughs> I never like thought about that in the past. But when I went to work, fuck. When I went, to, <laughs> when I went to write my exam on Saturday, I like I dressed up. Like I didn't dress up, but like I put suit. on I put on a nice sweater and then, like a nice shirt and nice pants. I'm just like. If I ever don't know anything, at least I'm going to, like, feel the part. Maybe I'll get something right just because of that. Drew put, put on his best high heels and was yeah. going to kill it today. Yeah, put on some red lippies. And, uh... <laughs> That's so, different, though. Like, you're running – you could run into people that you potentially yeah. could work mm-hmm. with or for. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you might as well dress. It's, it's a professional setting. Oh, it didn't it's, stop some people, yeah, exactly. my That's friend. That's perfect. Yeah. It's a professional setting. It's did not stop some people. Yeah. 
I think well, I those are the ones we're probably going to ace it because they don't give a fuck. You yeah, know yeah. that's going to be your boss. They, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those are the guys you got to go talk to. <laughs> They're the reason I'm dressing up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's just a whole com- future company of people all writing the same test. <laughs> so I love when we went to go pick up my suit right before this. I, I show up I'm in like this literally the same outfit, like sweatpants and a random T-shirt. Some of your merch, just plug it. Quick. Yeah, my merch. Yeah. And then, um, and then Drew's standing next to me with his like work outfit which is a nice shirt a nice sweater dress pants and everything Tie. it's like who's yeah. buying the shirt <laughs> like, or who's buying the tux <laughs> it's for me <laughs> no i <clears throat> i would agree to an extent where it's like say okay this is gonna be a sound pretty weird it's another one of my weird quirks but i can't go to the gym until i've been wearing like my gym clothes at home for like a half hour or until so you've picked up both your gym shirts given them a kiss set them on your bed and then tuck yep, them in some along that's those still lines. the weirdest thing i've ever heard <laughs> i did it yesterday and they it's won. so fucking strange they won they didn't win because of you yes, they won they, they, they really won didn't. because i put on my two jerseys yes, back to back and gave them both a smooch the coach after in the post game was like there's this man in canada <laughs> there's this <laughs> random kid in canada who keeps rob he keeps doing this really fucked shit but he, whenever he we does we win <laughs> <laughs> i'm literally four for four when i do that but what what was, what happens when you do and they lose? What are you gonna say? It hasn't, it hasn't happened yet. No, but when it does happen, what are you? Gonna say? It hasn't happened yet, so I'm not prepared to answer that. <laughs> this is why I hate sports people. <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason. Just, you just but like to circle back, like I, when I was in school, it was it was so yeah. bad at home, like to the point where it was like I would actually like I never went to Waterloo, but you kind of know it was like what twenty minutes, thirty minutes from yeah. where I was. Yeah. yeah. Um, the university. Yeah, yeah. I would go there to study. Yeah, exactly. Even though I didn't oh, like go you'd there. go to like the university library and, and uh, study yeah. there. I never once went there. Just go in there, study, and then leave I, after I would like agree. four hours. I mean, for me, it was never really where I was. It was more how long I had to do it. Correct. Like if I was under a time crunch, I'd, it doesn't matter where I was. I'd yeah. be like, I'd be yeah, doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I can agree with that. Well. But like, if I had my choice, I would leave my house. I would go to the library every time. Yeah. Yeah. I lo- I know how Drew studies because I had to study with him a bunch when we were in school together. And I can't tell you how many times we would start working. We'd get like one question in and then we're just on like the Tesla website looking at cars. Dude, I can't, I I never worked or studied with anyone. That's why I tried to give Drew his space for the last like two weeks. No, because usually like let Drew do his thing. No one bug him. Man, it was so clutch that whole last week. I just went over to my buddy's house because he was running it too. And we just, we just went through questions. No, no, no. It was hooked up. Literally, like, I'd go home, eat something, go there right after work, and for six hours, we'd just do questions and, like, talk it out together. That's pretty good. That is sick. It was make out a little? I, I like quizzing. Yeah, yeah, a little That's bit. That's what I said. You stole my joke, yeah. but no. whatever. But, like, um, <laughs> fuck. Like, no, I almost started working out. Studying by myself was the only way I could get volume of stuff. And if I was reviewing, then, yeah, I would do things with my classmates. But I couldn't learn and retain information with people all around me. Hmm. I could review it, but I couldn't learn it. So I, most of the time I would study on my own for like five or six hours and then meet up with uh, my cohort, you know. That's Your date for the evening? Many times too. Huh? Your Tinder date for the evening? No, Tinder I mean, if she, knew, if she knew economics, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time me and Drew were studying in the library and then uh, like I'm just doing my work, Drew's doing his, and then a girl walks up and just starts talking to Drew. And I'm just sitting there like Drew doesn't introduce me or anything. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just sit here and wait. They talk for like 20 minutes. I'm just like, <laughs> not like it. a little yeah. bit. Of time, yeah. like a long I'm like, time. I guess I'll just keep writing or whatever. Drew I'm just, just starts making it with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just writing whatever. She walks away. And I was like, so who was that? And he's like, oh, that was Bree. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I never met her up until that point. And that was the first thing I had. I just it slipped my mind that like he might not know who it was. Dude, I'm so bad should, with that though. That I should I'm, introduce them. I'm so bad with introducing people. Fuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's the last thing on my mind when I'm like, I'm, like say like I'm with someone and I run into someone. Oh shit! I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, and then I'll be like, oh, if I remember, I'm like, oh, this is blah blah blah. I think I'm pretty good at it, but like it, it, in my head when like a group of people are meeting, I'm like, okay, introduce, introduce, introduce. Yeah, introduce. yeah, yeah. Like, they don't know, even though like chances are you're probably not going to talk to them, yeah. but just in case, just to, yeah. like it just kind of gets rid of that weird like unbroken awkward yeah, yeah. eye gaze, and then someone says, hey, you guys know each other now. Well, good. It, it's awkward when you're staring into their eyes and like a foot away. No, you well, got to like, give them some space, yeah. Rob. Well, that's just how I operate. Now. Okay. That's that was, how you get your Tinder dates. <laughs> that was like uh, when we we were at like a, my place for what was that a, something with Amanda um, before she left for yeah and Africa. it's all our friends and we're playing what like King's Cup and someone did never never ever ever and like instead of breaking the ice or anything like um, one of Amanda's best friends her husband just like first question never ever ever done it you know died we're like wow yeah way to break the ice like <laughs> that's probably the best way to do it <laughs> just immediately. <laughs> 
We should play Never Ever Ever on here. And then the best was like one of the things he's like, the, the dude were like, you know, name everyone in the room. Because we went through and did all the names. Yeah. And everyone knew everyone's name except for him. <laughs> it was the funniest Didn't he call shit. Drew like Steve or something? Something, something like that. <laughs> if, if he didn't know Chad. Drew's name, I would call him like literally like a, like a Jack or a Steve or something. You look like a, a Jack. Jack yeah. yeah. I think Jack. A jackass. <laughs> uh, but I'm. Um, What's my, what would my name be? You guys like Chad? You'd be a Chad. I, I get Jason a lot. That's surprising. Uh, Jason, Chad, maybe, no. Maybe like a. You'd be like a an Armani. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all like licking your lips, looking at Man. me right now. So I went, I went, I went to Freshy today, and so hipster. The, well, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, right, yeah. the chick's like, "Can I get a name for the order?" And I'm like, "Drew," and she's like, oh, "Okay, D R U." They're, no. probably, they're probably so used to like weird spellings from well, well yeah it's because they're so hipsters so they're like everyone here is hipster mm-hmm. although mine is pretty hard to mix, mess up though drew though dear you like Come rob on. so that's r-a-w-h-b <laughs> r-a-u-h-b with a silent y at the end r-h-b <laughs> h-h-r-a-b harab well, it's actually three robs and you're like, rob no i yeah, can't do that yeah with a silent though. n at the start mm. I mean, you can spell your name however you want and just the rest is silent. You know what I mean? You put like five letters <laughs> for your name, but all these are all silent, by the way. Just to make sure you don't fuck up and forget them. He's got a silent, silent Joseph at the end of his name. <laughs> <laughs> There's a silent Xavier in the middle of my name. But... It's like Highway 11, 11 having a silent four <laughs> in the front of it. We've gone full circle again. Hey, okay. All right, that's a good way Cap to end it. it. <laughs> 110 kilometers an hour. Um, <laughs> the only thing... I already said that the podcast is on itunes right yeah mm-hmm. yeah because rob yeah but yeah uh I mean, link will be in the description or whatever and you get uh, to see our lovely faces next week hopefully next week well I, next so, week week so, after let's well, be honest 100 percent next quick, week let's say the quick new 30 second 2020 130 next week you will see our faces. quick 30 second thing i'm going fire to fire under this guy's ass Drew's i'm going to vegas off. on thursday so i'm leaving and i'm not coming back till monday morning and uh <laughs> Most of the stuff for the podcast is coming in while I'm gone, so I'm not going to be able to set it up until I get back. Just and it's very unlikely that I'll be able to set it up in the four hours that I have by the time I get back. Yeah, he just doesn't want to try. Just take a I'm going to try, but I seriously doubt I'll be able to. Literally, the one thing that he has to do for his job, and he doesn't <laughs> want to do it for you. I think every time you said "job" has been in quotation marks. <laughs> I started doing that whenever I message people. I'm like, I have to do work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> At least you've caught on. As long right. as you know it. All right, let's end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Sub for a free 10% off Tinder Gold. (laughs) And Platinum.